Oh, hey Libra, let's get into your energies for this month of June. Do excuse that massive sigh that I just opened up your reading with, but I was just instantly drawn to that Three of Swords. Ugh, it's one of my least favorite cards, Libra. Um, no matter what kind of reading it's coming out in, it's just never a, a good sign for me personally as a reader. It's just always an indication of some sort of loss, some sort of heartbreak, a detaching, someone having to walk away from something that they once really cared for, okay? And since we have that card opening up your reading, Libra, I am picking up that unfortunately the group I'm connecting with are currently going through something along those lines. Um, some of you could could actually be walking away from someone who has definitely disappointed you. The Three of Swords, like I said, doesn't come out unless there's been some sort of heartbreak, some sort of disappointment, possibly even a betrayal. And I do pick up very strongly that this wasn't an easy decision looking at the Eight of Cups. That's a sign that some of you have possibly been in this connection for quite some time or at the very least you once saw a lot of potential in this person. I see that the Libras I'm connecting with definitely poured a lot of their time, a lot of their effort or even possibly some money into this connection. You were hoping for things to go in the right direction but I do pick up unfortunately that your person either really does disappointed you or something really happened here that forced you to put your boundaries up, turn your back on this person and walk away. That being said, I do pick up that that Three of Swords is not just coming from your energy. I do pick up that it's a shared vibration. The person that you're currently walking away from is also really heartbroken, whether you're aware of it or not. This is someone who is not a doesn't like the fact that they've lost you is the best way I can put it. I'm just picking up a very sad energy around this person. This could literally be someone who is crying themselves to sleep. This is someone who is possibly struggling to get out of bed. I'm just picking up a little bit of a moping energy surrounding this person because you've chosen to pull away from them. They are definitely feeling the lack of your vibration. But beyond that, I see that this person is kicking themselves for how they possibly treat to you for possibly doing something that pushed you away from them in the first place. Now, I'm not 100% sure what's gone down between the two of you. Hopefully, it clarifies as we dig in a little bit deeper. But that Seven of Pentacles could be an indication of someone who unfortunately was kind of wasting your time in some ways. I'm seeing someone who wouldn't come towards you correctly. This is an energy of someone who would possibly promise you commitment and never come through correctly and give you that commitment. I'm just seeing that from your perspective. Um, this is an effort that did not reap the rewards that you were expecting. Like I said before, it's not an easy decision for you to walk away from this person, but I pick up very strongly with this Hierophant, with that Six of Cups, and with the Queen of Wands, Libra, right now, you're walking away from this person because you know your value. You had to put your defenses up because right now you're looking for a divine counterpart. The Six of Cups could be an indication that some of you are hoping to manifest a soulmate. You were hoping that this person was a soulmate, but the energies that they came towards you are with were kind of not indicative of a soulmate relationship so unfortunately that's why you've chosen to walk away from this person but i just don't think that this person's fully walked away from you something in that three of swords with the eight of cups I don't think you're fully aware of how much this person has been almost shell-shocked by how heartbroken they are by the fact that you walked away. I do think, unfortunately, this person was taking you for granted with that seven of pentacles. This is someone who thought that they had some time uh, to do whatever they had to do before they came towards you and commit. But I think you walked away before they actually thought that you would, okay? And you walked away and left them in a lot of heartbreak, a heartbreak that they are not comfortable in and I just see this person truly truly oh it's a difficult energy guys I don't know how to explain it like this person could be going through a little bit of a mild depression this is someone who is really I'm just seeing someone moping around um sad possibly not even going to work ah uh, wow I hope that's not the energy that you're sitting in 
I don't see that as your energy. That Queen of Wands makes me feel like right now you're feeling very powerful. You're very, you might be heartbroken by what this person did, but you know your value and you're trusting in the universe. You're trusting that what is meant for you will come towards you. But I don't think you're fully aware that this person is what's going to be coming in towards you. Um, that Six of Cups is definitely an energy of someone from the past who's regretting the decisions that they've made, who doesn't want the distance between the two of you and wants to come back in and possibly invest in you in a different way. The Hierophant could be someone coming in for something traditional we'll see but i just pick up someone maturing because ultimately they don't want to lose you um they put you on a little bit of a pedestal and i do think you left quite the impression here libra um this person wow i can't explain the sadness that's surrounding them wow let's get some clarifications i think this person also doesn't like the impression that they left behind um they don't like that you are hurt by the actions that they took so that's also creating even more burdens for them i'm just seeing a very very heavy heart surrounding this person right now i wonder what they did i'm not necessarily seeing third party energies um, i'm just seeing someone being a little bit immature or possibly kind of keeping you on a string a promising commitment or something along those lines yeah, with the hangman as well. It's like this person always kept you waiting. Uh, maybe they would never show up on time. I don't know what the hangman's about, but I'm just seeing someone keeping you waiting, um, not coming in and committing correctly. And you pulled away and now their heart is broken. <laughs> um, now their heart is broken. They're sitting there in the king of cups, whether they're male or female. This is possibly that energy that I'm picking up on of being emotionally overwhelmed. Um, that's the vibration of the three of swords. Your person's not only going through the heartbreak of the breakup, they're going through the guilt of losing you, of pushing you away, okay? So I do see some maturity in the King of Cups, but the King of Cups can still also, he's not my favorite king, I have to be honest. He's a little bit emotionally out of balance, but maybe that's just the energy this person's currently going through because you, you maybe this is like quite recent it's quite recent so they you know when someone walks away it can be a little bit shell shocking is what i'm seeing here but i don't think you're in contact with this person so you might not even be aware of how much pain that they're going through and how much they're actually struggling with the breakup um you possibly are struggling too but from your energy i just think you're doing a little bit better off than they are okay Or maybe they have access to your social media and you've been posting energies that are like kind of like letting go of this person and it's really creating a lot of regret and heartbreak in this person. Oh, I can't get away from this energy, guys. Your person's really struggling. Ooh, I'm seeing someone who's not even getting out of bed. Okay, like not getting out of bed. Uh, I don't want to say depressed, but like... I don't know, guys, Libra, I don't know what's going on with your person. I don't think you're going to hear from them in the next couple of days or even weeks. This this is an energy that needs to be processed. This person's quite literally processing you breaking up with them, walking away from them. They're like, you know, you have to process the anger, the regret, all of those energies, but they will be coming back in. Wow. So this person's also kind of kicking themselves. That's the energy I'm seeing here. This person feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you because they acted immaturely and did not commit when they had the opportunity. Uh, this person didn't strike when the iron was hot. This person feels like an idiot, I think. You know, um, I don't know why they were acting so immaturely in the past. I'm just seeing someone who took you for granted, thought that they had a little bit more time to do whatever they, they had to before they fully committed before they fully took themselves off the market. I don't know if that has to do with other people or just someone who was resistant to commitment. You know how people are these days. Doesn't even mean that they're talking to other people. It's just, you know, people these days like to be single. And it's only when they lose someone that they're like, damn, actually, I should have held on to that person. Wow. Yeah, look at this. 
So definite energy here of someone needing to lose you to appreciate you, someone having to sit in this hermit energy of being away from you alone, missing you, um, kicking themselves. I just see the summer, this person quite miserable, uh, feeling quite lonely and also dare I say upset with the decisions that they've made that pushed you away. Um, phew. This person still holds on to you though, okay? They're in deep, deep contemplation about how to come back in towards you and possibly give you what it is that they were resisting before. With that four of wands, it's definitely energies of commitment, but pairing it up with the six of cups. Like I said, this person's recognized the strength of this connection, whether they're a soulmate or not. Um, the times that you shared uh, were quite quite lovely you left the impression i don't know how else to put it this person just misses the times that the two of you had um and they kind of wish they put in more effort into this connection because now they recognize the strength of it they're kicking themselves i don't want to keep repeating myself but the cards keep saying it it's like someone was really kind of silly in the past yeah now that you've created these boundaries pulled away, they're looking at everything from a different perspective. But in that different perspective, I see them just being once again overwhelmed. Yeah, very overwhelmed. This person's overwhelmed with the distance. This person's spying on you as well, guys. That could be what's overwhelming. I don't know if you've posted something recently uh, that makes you look like you've either moved on from them or you met someone new or you're just not bothered. Maybe they bumped into a friend of yours and got some information that you've detached whether it's true or not. That's this person's perspective, okay? And that's why they're miserable. They think that they've lost you or that you've fully, fully moved away from them. Whether it's true or not, that's what they think. That's why they're so sad. <laughs> this person's like, oh my goodness, Libra's actually gone. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. That's what I keep feeling in this vibration. Wow. You will hear from this person though. I just don't know if there's like, I'm not picking up a fast energy in this reconciliation. Unfortunately, like I said, it's either because you both, um, you, you two just quite recently broke up. So there needs to be that processing or this person's going through the processing uh, before they come back in. Uh, there's a maturing that they needed to do um, or a recognizing of this connection. Yeah, I think your person was a little bit. Ooh, wow. <gasps> A little bit immature in the past. They could have wanted to go out with their friends all the time, party all the time, not come home. Yeah, there's an energy of just someone being a little bit irresponsible with that four of wands. Uh, even if they weren't necessarily out there being a player, I'm just seeing someone who didn't want to settle down, okay? Uh, but you know what you wanted and that's what made this person miss the opportunity this person sitting in the four of cups now kind of kicking themselves once again throwing themselves a mini pity party but in this mini pity party it's forced this person to do some deep introspection some digging deep into themselves and not just into themselves but into who you are for them what you mean to them and what you have to offer because this person's come to a true recognition that they pushed away an empress or walked away from a true soulmate connection. So that's why this person is so sad. This person didn't recognize you when they had you, Libra. I hate to say it. Let me see why. They could have been immature or I have to be honest, I just picked up a little bit of a vibration. This is a small group of you who, when this person was in your life, unfortunately, you could have been a little bit too nurturing, a little bit too giving too quickly, that it made this person take you for granted or get too comfortable, that they thought that they didn't have to commit. What I mean by that is... Like, you know, if like someone like you, you go on one date, you talk all the time and then all of a sudden you're at their house doing all of the girlfriend and boyfriend things before this person's actually invested. Um, that could be one of those situations. OK, so this is someone who had to lose you to appreciate you. So just remember that when this person comes back in, know your value, know what you have to offer, offer it, but make sure that it's been reciprocated before you go back and offer a little bit more. Okay.
Oh, yeah. So this person standing at a distance spying. <laughs> I promise you guys, if this person has access to your social media, your friends, I don't even want to get creepy here. But if you live close to one another, they're possibly walking past where you live, where you work, where you frequent, where you go with your friends just to see you, get a glance of you, get some sort of information. Maybe they've even reached out to your friends. Um, they're just gathering as much as they can before they come in towards you because I think this person is a little afraid uh, with these queen energies. I'm picking up that right now. You're not the most receptive. You're quite defensive. You've got your boundaries up when it comes to this person. Uh, but I do feel like they'll do whatever it takes to heal the situation, bring balance to this connection. But most importantly, I see someone just taking this connection seriously now and coming in for the right reasons, taking things to the next level with the Hierophant. That's an ooh, double Hierophant. Ooh, these are energies of commitment, guys. So if you were dating this person and it was casual, here they come to do things more traditional. If you were dating this person but they wouldn't marry you, here they now come to marry you. If you've been with this person married but they didn't want to have kids. Now I see things kind of shifting, but I see things shifting in this person's perspective because you had to either create boundaries, create distance, or just put your foot down, okay? So keep your energies high, keep your boundaries strong, keep knowing your value, and I think that it's actually working when it comes to this person, no matter what the circumstances are for you in this energy. All right, that's it. Love and light.